So the men's draw has just come out for Cincinnati and it is stacked. We've got a big name coming back uh, for the first time on Harcourt since the start of the year. And with all the craziness that we had in Canada, a lot of those these names, the top seeds especially, have to redeem themselves this week if they're going to be looking at any chance for the US Open. Let's go to the withdrawals though because we have some big names that are not playing in this event. Here is the withdrawal list. We've got six names out of this draw. We've got Djokovic pulling out officially. Of course, we know the reasons why. He can't get into America, so he therefore can't play. Opelka pulled out uh, with injury. Dominic Team pulled out with sickness. He will be focusing on the US Open, but not playing this week. Gael Monfils, he hurt himself this week in Canada after coming back from a long injury layoff. So keep an eye on him over the next few weeks because I don't know whether he'll be at the US Open even. Uh, Oscar Otto, we don't know where he's been lately, but he must be injured. And of course, Zverev is coming back from injury uh, with that ankle uh, surgery that he had from the French Open injury. So he hasn't playing, and I doubt that he'll play the US Open either. But let's start at the top of the draw with Daniel Medvedev, the number one seed. The top, uh, top eight seeds get a bye in the first round. Medi, number one seed. He waits the winner of Van der Zanschel versus Cressy. who are going out in the first round. Then you got Paul versus Brooksby. Winner of that picks either Shapovalov or the number 16 seed Dimitrov in the second round. And look, I mean, look, the, the only player in form in this part of the draw is Brooks is uh, is Paul, right? Fritz, number 11 seed, takes on Baez. Winner of that match takes on either Kyrgios or Fakina in the second round. And uh, Keegs did look very tired at the end of his match, so we'll see if he does, in fact, play Cincinnati. But at this stage, he's playing. Uh, Ramos Vinoles will take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number six seed, Andre Rublev, in the second round. So we could be getting a Fritz Kyrgios second round. We could be getting a Rublev Kyrgios third round. We could be getting a Fritz K uh, Rublev third round. And of course, this part of the draw will take on Medvedev's part of the draw in the quarterfinals. So it could be an all-Russian quarterfinal, Medi versus Rublev. Um, but yeah, so there's that's sort of the, uh, I mean, Kyrgios Medvedev, we could get a replay of that in the quarterfinals. That would be fun. Second section of the draw, we've got Stefano Tsitsipas by in the first round. He'll take on either Kranovic or Evans in the second round. Then we've got Karatsev taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on either Molchan or the number 13 seed Schwartzman in the second round. Then you've got a very tricky part of the draw here. We've got number 12 seed Berrettini taking on Tiafo. That's probably one of the best first round matches going around. So keep an eye on that one. Berrettini needing to get some form after a poor week last week. Uh, the winner of that match will take on either Hashinov or the wildcard quarter in the second round. Then you got Bonzi taking on Isner. Winner of that match takes on the number eight seed, Hubi Hercatch, who's having a great week, despite all the big names falling this week. So uh, Hercatch, probably the player to watch out for. Berrettini trying to redeem himself. John Isner has made a final here before, so he's definitely one to watch. And the winner of this part will play against the City Pass section. So City Pass versus Hercatch if we're going by the seeds. Um, but I mean, after last week, I have no idea what anything is going to look like. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Casper Ruud. Another player playing well this week, despite the carnage uh, for the top 10. He's number five seed. He gets by in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or the wildcard Shelton in the second round. Then we've got Vavrenka taking on a quali. Winner of that match takes on either Runa or Nori, the number nine seed in the second round. So Nori versus Rude. Uh, Rude's got a good draw. I mean, you know, he's played well this week. Uh, anyways, let's go to the next part of the draw. We've got the number 14 seed, Chilic, taking on a quali. Winner of that match takes on either Rusevori or Wolf, the wild card in the second round. Then we've got another wild card, McDonald, taking on Basilashvili. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Alcaraz. He gets a buy in the first round. And Alcaraz, he admitted that last week he buckled under the pressure of the match against Tommy Paul. He needs to redeem himself. Uh, 100%. He's in the list. He's on the list of, uh, of players that struggled last week randomly. So let's see how he does. This section of the draw takes on the Casper Ruud section. So we're looking at Ruud versus uh, Alcaraz in the quarterfinals. Or maybe even Nori versus Alcaraz. Because Nori is a good hardcore player as well. Um... Maybe Chilich Rude if we want to go a little random, but I want to see how Alcaraz looks this week because last week was very disappointing for him. Last part of the draw now, we've got number seven seed, Oje Aliasim. He gets a buy in the first round. He takes on either Bublik or Dimonor in the second round. Then we've got Karina Busta taking on Kecmenovic. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or number 10 seed, Yannick Sinner. And again, a couple of guys in this part of the draw that were disappointing. Sinner. Lost to Krinja Busta, which could be a second round. And the final part of the draw now, and this is the part that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, number 15 seed, Batista Agu takes on Serendolo. That's fun. That's an interesting match. Winner of that plays a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it. Then you've got Chorich taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Rafa Nadal. He's back, baby. We haven't seen him since Indian Wells. 
where he retired, or he uh, lost in the final and then had the rib injury and was out for a while. Let's see if Rafa's fit and firing. Um, and this part of the draw will take on the OG Aliasim and Sinner part. So we could be getting Rafa versus Sinner in the quarters. We could be getting Rafa versus FAA in the quarters. I don't know who's going to win this tournament. I mean, maybe Medvedev gets back in form. I mean, last week was terrible from him. Uh, he did lose to Kyrgios, which again, isn't the worst loss, but he's more, I mean, uh, Raf is an unknown because he's got the, he's got the injury worries coming back. I'm, I'm a little, a little hesitant about Rafa. Alcarez needs to improve. City pass Rublev. I think maybe, maybe Medi or Rublev. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that top half of the draw. I'm thinking Rublev got to the final last year. Medvedev, you know, has won this tournament before. I don't know if City pass is... I don't know. I don't trust him enough. But yeah, maybe her catch goes, uh, does another good run. But uh, Alcaraz, you know, Ra I mean, Raf is going to be the popular pick, I'm sure. But let me know down in the comments below or uh, in the chat if you're watching uh, who is going to win in Cincinnati for the men because after last week, I don't think anyone's safe.